Hey everyone, good morning. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day, where every day on the community tab of the Electrical Code Coach YouTube channel at 4 a.m., I drop a poll. You have all day to answer it, and even after those days. And then what we do is we come back and we answer them every day. I put it in the same post so you can see the answer. So try to answer, see if you get it right, and then watch this video to check the correct answer out. Today's question is, what is the minimum VAs you can calculate for a dryer using the standard method? And that may sound like an odd term if you're uh, not familiar with Article 220, but there are two different methods for calculating load calculations. There is what is literally called the standard method, and then there's what's called the optional method. And there are two different methods that are prescribed there in Article 220. And this one is asking for how you deal with dryers for household electric dryers, demand factors. And in this case, uh, you know, there is a demand factor that could be applied by using Table 220.54 but before you can even get to table 220.54, you must understand this part right here. And when we go back to section 220.54, it lets us know that when we're doing the standard method, we must use 5,000 VAs or 5,000 watts as the minimum or the nameplate, whichever is larger. So if you had a 5,200 watt dryer, you would use the nameplate. If you had a 4,800 watt dryer, you must use 5,000 as the minimum. And what this does is it allows you to be able to calculate your dryers more consistently. They put 5,000 as the minimum. They must have found at the time that they made these codes that that was the national average or that was the average that they needed for their load calculation to make sense as a whole. So when you're dealing with the standard method, when you're dealing with dryers, you must have 5,000 VAs as the minimum or the nameplate, whichever is greater. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and if there's anything that I can do to help you in life or business, you can email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. You can also check out electricalexamcoach.com if you're wanting to get your electrical license or certification, or if you're just wanting to be a really well-rounded electrician. If you go through our program, I would shake your hand, and you know if you couple that with some years of field experience, you will be a well-rounded electrician who will be respected in the trade. I am the Electrical Code Coach. Let's get to it.